Never ever did I include an electric vehicle, let alone an electric scooter in a conversation with the boys. This wasn't because I doubt their capabilities, but because I'm stuck up petrol head who's always about big engines, turbo speed and tire smoke. The thing is, I always talk trash about EVs. But things changed when I first got the Aether 450 electric scooter a few years ago for a test ride and now riding the 450X just got me all hooked up further. The best part is that we did not ride it only on a plain road to check out its range, but had some fun on a go-kart track to check out its overall agility. I mean, I did everything I would normally do on an IC engine powered motorcycle. And let me confess, I was not disappointed at all. I was in awe of this machine. For those who are range anxious, I checked that out too. For example, the Honda Activa IC engine powered scooter in any case would return an average mileage of around 35 to 40 kilometers per liter. And if the tank runs out, we get into the limp mode. Feather throttle, don't stop too often and 40 kilometers per hour max. It's exactly how the echo mode works on the Aether, you dimwits. We fail to realize that Aether emulated every possible scenario that you would come across with your trusty 100cc scooter. Even compared to the Aprilia SR160 or the SXR, the 450X packed a crazy launch with the soft motor wine breaking necks as you overtake. In simple terms, Aether 450 and 450X in Echo mode is an Activa on low fuel, but still 10 times more fun and 5 times more agile. When I first rode the Aether 450, I was bought. The idea seemed simple, an electric super scooter that can sweep you off your feet and get you back home, even with low juice in its batteries. The usable battery capacity on the 450 was 2.4 kilowatt hour with 18,650 lithium ion battery cells, delivering max ARAI certified range of 116 kilometers. With the 450X, Aether spiked up the X, increasing the battery cells to 21,700 cells and the usable capacity to 2.61 kilowatt hour. The 450X takes 5 hours 45 minutes to get to full charge, almost 15 minutes more than its predecessor. The motor on the X2 was tweaked and this manages to deliver better power and torque compared to the 450. The 450X gets to 450 km per hour in 3.29 seconds and to 60 km per hour in 6.5 seconds, while the 450 could sprint to 60 km per hour in 8.2 seconds. The big ups with the 450X though are the increase in claim range, which has now gone up to 116 km instead of 107 km on the 450. In the real world, the X can manage 85 km or more if you are careful. In ride mode, it can manage a max of 70 km and in the highly addictive warp mode, it gives you 49 km of thrill. Just make sure you're close to your house before you try it, mainly because the range drains really, really fast. I almost forgot to mention that the frame is so well balanced. It can really surprise you in the corners. Even if you think of taking it to the karting track once in a while, you will most certainly have a wide grin inside the helmet thanks to the 202 Newton meters of torque to play with. There is only one small problem with the Aether 450X, that the rear brake tends to lock up under hard braking and isn't much confidence inspiring. The design of the X is the same except that you now get it in, in a matte black paint scheme with yellow accents. The Series 1 450X has a swanky scheme going on, gloss black, red accents and a see-through rear panels. The X would set you back rupees 1.41 lakh X showroom. With the Aether 450X, the company aims to revolutionize the EV industry one kilowatt hour at a time. It's certainly worth the buy if you manage to calculate your savings per month compared to the IC engine scooter. Trust me, you will not regret it.